Hey, this is Danielle Pierce again, creator of Real Estate Profit Lab. Today we're talking about what do you need to actually get started uh, as far as launching your own property preservation company. So the bare, bare minimum is $2,000. Oh, disclaimer, this is for folks who plan on starting their business and outsourcing the work to a team of subcontractors. It's not for folks who plan on starting their business, doing the work themselves and buying all the equipment. If you do it that way, it's going to cost you, I don't know, at least 10 times more money to buy, you know, all the lawnmowers, all the um, hedge trimmers, shrub trimmers, uh, snow blowers, um, you know, all the different equipment, the, the trailers, the trucks, uh, if you buy all of that stuff, yeah, you'll be out of a, you know, a significant amount of money. So this is not for people who are looking to, to do that. So if you're looking to outsource everything, which is the, my particular business model, then this is how much you'll need at a minimum. Now, again, more money is always better. Uh, I think when you have more money, you make better decisions, you make smarter decisions, and it's just less stressful. You know, life is just easier with more money. Um, and I know that particularly in our community, it's like we've been conditioned to think that, you know, money is evil and money is bad and, you know, we shouldn't talk about it. But yeah, it does make things significantly easier as it will with this, with this particular business. So at least $2,000. Uh, but again, if you have more, that'd be awesome. Um, doesn't include the cost of the course if you decide to work with me. If you don't, then that, of course, that's fine too. You can always opt to continue to watch, you know, other YouTube channels and other folks talking about the industry or just get out there and wing it. Um, either way is fine. The insurance is typically a down payment of $500. You do need three types of insurance. Uh, I'll cover that in a different video, but generally you'll need about 500 bucks for that. Business formation, 100 to $800, depends on where you live. Um, if you do a sole proprietorship, you know, maybe that's less than $100. If you do uh, a C-Corp and you have somebody, you pay somebody to do it for you, you might be out of 800 bucks. It could even be more than that. It just depends on the option that you choose. And people opt to do an LLC. Uh, for me, I'm an LLC uh, tax as an S-Corp. Um, so once you get to a point where you're bringing, bringing in enough revenue, you may decide to do that. But I really don't like to get over my head and talking about these different business formations because these are questions that are best answered by a CPA. This is just general advice from what I've seen and what I've done in the industry. Um, but again, some LLCs are, you know, 100 bucks and other places is $500. You can do it yourself through the Secretary of State's website or you can pay somebody to do it for you. There's also another company called uh, Inc. for Free. One of my students told me about it may opt to use that as well. I haven't used it, so I'm not vouching for it, but I'm just throwing it out there as an option. But plenty of options to set up a business. Personally, I don't think it's that hard. Um, keep in mind that for an LLC though, it is governed by the operating agreement. So you should have one for your business so that you don't look like you're just uh, a pretend business, so to speak. So the operating agreement dictates what you should do as that particular business. But moving on, uh, initial supplies might be, uh, you know, two to $300. Some companies will tell you, you know, go order this starter pack from MFS Supply or, you know, make sure you have 30 days of digital locks on hand. Um, so that number will vary slightly, but that's, uh, that's a good average. And then initial payroll, yeah, you're not going to be flooded with work in the beginning. So for everybody who's freaking out like, oh my gosh, contractors are going to be doing work and I'm going to have to pay them and I won't have any money. Yeah, it won't be that much work. Um, well, Typically, it's not that much work. I have had some people get started and get flooded right away with work. Uh, it just depends on the area and it depends on the company and how much work they have available in that area. But generally, you might get, you know, you'll get some grass cuts, some snow removal, some inspections, a couple maid services, maybe a, a small trash out, um, but it won't be, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of work. You should expect it to be just about maybe three to five thousand dollars per month for the first three to six months, which I think is great, especially as an additional income source. But I just wanted to set expectations with regard to you know so people don't freak out about payroll. Um, you have to pass the background check with Aspen Grove with an IC zero one clearance. If you don't have that, you're kind of out of luck. Uh, work will be limited the first three to six months again until you prove yourself. I mean, you could be a flake and you could just do shitty work and and not you know, receive more work as a result. So I can't speak for that. And then I'll, again, you have to establish a legal business, which we talked about a few moments ago. So website is cool, phone number is cool, email is cool, like a branded email as opposed to like a Gmail or a Yahoo. Uh, the website, you know, it doesn't have to be like a $10,000 website or even a $1,000 website. You can get that done for just a few hundred bucks mm, or less on a website like Fiverr. So in the course, I have a referral that I've used who's done lots of websites. 
Um, and he's gotten pretty great, good feedback for the most part. But yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to get a website done. You could just go to one of the uh, outsourcing websites, you know, and have it done in just a couple of days for probably less than 200 bucks. Just a basic WordPress four page website. So that's the basic stuff you'll need to get started. I'm going to touch on, you know, background checks in a little bit more detail in a separate video. And I think that's it for this particular one. So uh, to find out more information, go ahead and check out propertypreservationmaster.com. It's also a Facebook group, Real Estate Profit Lab. You can find that if you just type it in your Google search bar. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video in the playlist. All right, talk soon. Bye-bye.